This new NFT project promises to help people create music. The Heart Project NFTs will create a community of people centered around music and media creation. And this project hasn't even launched yet, so now is the perfect time to do your research and see if this is something you want to get into. In this video, I'm going to let you know what the Heart NFT project is, what makes it unique, and I'll be comparing it to some other popular NFT projects. My name is Devin Cook. Don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons, and welcome back to Dev Money. Now, if you remember from my video discussing the future possibilities of NFTs, you'll know that art is not the sole purpose of them. And one of the most powerful things that NFTs can do is they really help create communities of people centered around one specific goal. And that's why you see a lot of NFT projects that have a lot of focus on charity work or long-term humanitarian projects. And the Heart NFT project is really unique because it's the first one I've seen that's centered around helping people create music and media. They already have musicians lined up that they're gonna be collaborating with. And in the future, they hope to add even more to that list. And there's a lot to know about this project. So let's jump into the computer and take a look at everything you need to know. All right, so here's their project website. It's heartnfts.io if you want to check it out for yourself. And I'm actually going to skip down to the bottom of the website because that's where we have all their just basic information right here. So you can see here that every heart is going to cost 0.0888 eight Ethereum. I think they really like the number eight. They should have added another one on there. The heart character has 235 attributes that have been plugged into an AI with a built-in rarity system. There are over 1 trillion different possible combinations. Each NFT is one of a kind and has a unique personality and characteristics. Holders can choose the heart they identify the most with. Now this part's really important. This gives us some information about the royalty. It says that secondary sales royalty is 7.5% to the heart project team and 2.5% to OpenSea. So that means that if you hold one of these heart project NFTs and you plan to sell one, it's going to cost you 10% if you use OpenSea. Now you can use other websites like NFT Trader and you can get around those fees. But if you go through OpenSea, you can expect a 10% fee. But they do say they choose to take a higher percentage than the other projects because they're donating a percentage to charities with every secondary sale. So part of that 7.5% royalty is actually going to go to charities that they're supporting. There's going to be 10,000 hearts in this collection and we will sell 5,000 during a pre-sale, which is starting right here in four hours and 19 minutes. And 5,000 will be released on the drop date and 250 will be held for giveaways for heart holders. Now that's all the basic information about this project that you need to know, kind of all those major talking points. Now let's dive a bit deeper into their website and see what they have to say. And back here at the top, you can see some examples of the hearts NFTs. You can see here on the left, and then all of these guys right here. These are all some examples of the art that you can expect with this project. Now this first paragraph is pretty interesting here. It says that the heart project creative studio is designed to produce media with thousands of contributors on every project and grants ownership of our shared creation. And I think that part is really interesting. So like I mentioned, they were really focusing on music and media creation, and they want to build a community where people can get together, collaborate and create media and music. And then also you can have part ownership of this music that you're creating. And it says that these NFTs will be serving as membership passes, which will grant access to creative contribution and shared ownership of our group creations. And if I'm understanding this correctly, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have to be like a singer or a guitar player or something and actually participate in creating content. But just by holding one of these NFTs, you're going to get part ownership in whatever music or content that they do end up creating with this project. And when you are verified as a heart owner, you'll gain membership access to our collaborative portal on our Discord. So once you're verified on their Discord, which we'll be going through here in a moment, you're actually going to be able to get access to a special channel on their Discord. So that way you can collaborate with other heart owners. And this will help and allow you to decide and define the creation of all heart project endeavors. We will begin with a music video, a clothing capsule, a game and an album, but the community will soon take control of what comes next. So they already have a really good roadmap, which we'll see here in just a second, but it sounds like they really plan on helping people take over once this NFT project has launched and once they get some of these members really involved. The group as a whole will partner with musicians and brands to collaborate on creative projects. Together, we will vote on which outside projects and artists the Heart Project will work with. So this is really cool. You'll basically be voting as a Heart owner on which artists you want to collaborate with and what projects you guys want to undertake. So they're really aiming for this to be extremely collaborative. They really want everyone to be involved and really for this just to be a community driven project. Now down here to the roadmap, we can see what they have lined up already. Heart Project Community will create a music video with John Dawson. I'm not really aware of who John Dawson is, but maybe if you know in the comments, you can let me know. But a quick Google search basically says that he's a producer with a show, show rock production company. You can see his Instagram here. He has 71,000 followers. So it does look like he is in the music and content creation space. The Heart Project Community will also be creating a zine. Again, I'm not too sure what a zine is. I actually had to go and look at it. But a zine is basically a small circulation self-published work of 
original or appropriated text and images, usually reproduced via a copy machine. So basically they're gonna kind of create their own magazine if I'm understanding this correctly. And the Heart Project community will be creating a video game. I'm not sure if this is gonna be on iOS and Android, if this is gonna be Xbox and PlayStation. This is all the information we have about it, but they're gonna be creating a video game. And I would assume that it has something to do with music or some sort of media creation. And the Heart Project community will also be making an EP with Deej or DJ. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name. Here he is on Twitter. He's head of communications at Iron Galaxy. He has almost 400,000 followers on Twitter. And so it's pretty cool to see that they're working with someone who has quite a big following on social media. That's gonna be really huge for helping this project move forward. And lastly, the Heart Project community will be releasing a clothing capsule. And then coming soon, they have a bunch of other things it says here that we cannot see because it's all blurred out. And then as it mentioned up above, after all of these things occur, it does sound like they're gonna have the community basically drive the rest of the project forward and decide who you wanna collaborate with and everything like that. Now, if we take a look at their mission statement, the Heart Project was created by Stefan Meyer and Aiden Cullen in 2021. Over the last two years, Stefan has been developing a series of paintings and drawings inspired by the cartoons of his childhood. The character he felt most drawn to was a heart because of its simple and universal message of love, healing, and compassion. He teamed up with a fellow artist, Aiden, and an avid cryptocurrency and NFT enthusiast who helped grow the idea and put together a dedicated team to create a world and community surrounding the character. The combination of this classic symbol with Stefan's distinct visual style is bringing something unique to the NFT world. The DIY aesthetic sets it apart from other NFT collections and so do our goals for this project. Now, in my opinion, this isn't the greatest mission statement I've ever read. They do share some of their values here and that's one of the really important things to do when creating a mission statement. But in my opinion, at least, it doesn't really say what they're aiming for in the future and what their long-term goals are. They kind of go through that in other parts of the website, but I do think it would be beneficial to kind of put those things into the mission statement. I don't think the mission statement is bad. It almost just feels like a bio or a backstory to me rather than an actual mission statement. But in my opinion, I think it would be a lot more helpful for them if they just put their values as well as their goals and long-term aspirations in this mission statement. And then that way, anyone who reads this can just get a one paragraph synopsis of what this project is. And then they talk a bit more about the community. They say their goal is to give back to the creative community and to foster digital and physical spaces where the projects we love can get the support they need to come to life. They want to to deconstruct the idea that being creative has to happen alone. Whether you want to get feedback on a project you're already working on or be part of making a new album, music video, painting, or even performance art piece, the Heart Project is a vehicle to do so. And then down below the community section, they have their plans to give back to different charities. They plan to set aside a certain percentage of all NFT sales to the Heart Project fund. And every Christmas, we will review the fund, review some charities we think are in need, let the community vote on which ones they believe most, and make a donation. One of the members of their team started a charity four years ago and raised $2 million for people to pay their hospital bills that couldn't afford otherwise. So it's actually really cool to see that people on their team have a long history working with charities and raising a lot of money to help out some people in need. And if this project has really been interesting to you so far, you can come down and read more about Stefan Meyer, Aiden Cullen, Aaron Marisky, Josh Fallis, Luke Davis. These are all the members of the team. And so you can read about Luke, who is a 20 year old software engineer, Josh, who is an advisor to the project, Aaron, he's the guy that did all that charity work, Aiden, he's one of the photographers, and Stefan, he's the guy that actually did these heart paintings when he was young. And and also I think it's super important to see down here is this list of people they're planning to work with in the music industry, with publications and commercial clients. They have plans to work with Converse, Adidas, Nike, Prada, Burberry, Gucci, Marc Jacobs, Stussy, Carhartt, Braindead, et cetera. They're gonna be in Vogue, Interview Magazine, ID Magazine, Complex. They're gonna work with ASAP Rocky, with Roddy Rich, with John Dawson, a bunch of these people. Now, I do not have any confirmation nor have I found anywhere saying that they've actually confirmed that these people will work with them. So this may just be a list of people that they are a big fan of, locations they want to be in and big brands like Adidas and Nike that they do want to work with in the future. But I have not seen any concrete evidence that shows that they do have a deal with Nike or anything like that. So just be aware of that. These are some huge goals, which are super awesome to have. But from my understanding, they have yet to materialize. Now that's all the information you're going to get from their website. It is important to check out their socials. So we're going to hop onto their Twitter and take a look at that. So they have 8,300 followers, which is a pretty good size. And I've noticed that they put on about 2,000 followers just in the last day or two. Now you can see that they did join back in 2018 but if you scroll all the way down to their first ever tweet, it was on September 7th. So that's when they first got active on Twitter was really only about three weeks ago and they've gained 8,300 followers, which is pretty good in my eyes. So I advise you to come through here, read their tweets. There's a lot of giveaways and a lot of just information that they share about the project. Their Instagram has about 1,800 followers. They have a couple posts on here. So go take a look at the art and then go read through their posts as well. And lastly, we have their Discord, which has 26,000 members, which is really incredible because just yesterday they had 18,000 members. They've been 
been doing a huge push to get the project out there on Discord by having all the members invite people to join. And if you get at least five people to join their Discord, you're gonna qualify for their pre-sale, which is happening in just a couple of hours here on the 23rd. So that's why their Discord has really taken off. So we can hop here into their Discord, take a look at some of their announcements. What are the people writing about this project? And then you're also gonna wanna just hop into the general chat and just see what people are saying. Is everyone really just focused on the floor price or are people actually excited about the long-term longevity of this project? And as a general rule of thumb, that's a really good thing to think about when you're in a Discord. If everyone is just talking about the floor price and hey, let's pump it, let's get it to one ETH, let's get it to three ETH, whatever the price is, that's a sign that people are really just in there for the money, which is not necessarily a bad idea. People have their own reasons for getting into a project. But if you get into a Discord and people are just so excited about the roadmap, about where this project is going, about the creators, about the community, that can potentially be a better sign that people are really there for the project itself and not just to make a quick buck or a quick flip. Now let's bring up my spreadsheet and we'll take a look at how this compares to some other projects. So here we can see the heart project right here launching on September 27th, 10,000 items in this project. We don't know how many holders there's gonna be or the volume yet because it's not launched. If you do miss the mint on Monday and are wanting to get into this project later on OpenSea, check out how many holders there are on OpenSea and then go over to Etherscan and see how many of these hearts are in the top wallets. That's a really good idea to get a breakdown of if there's any whales in the project. Now you can see here 26,551 members on their Discord, extremely good. When we sort this, they're actually about at the top. Now I gotta update some of these, but they are doing really good because they're approaching that 30,000 person threshold. Now 8,300 on Twitter is not a ton. Basically all of the other projects have more than them, but they are just a couple of days before the public launch. And we do typically see a lot of surge in followers and members on Discord in the days leading up to a public launch because of how much of a push they're doing with social media and really just trying to get their project out there to as many people as possible. So that's all the information we have about this Heart NFT project. Now, should you invest your hard-earned money and get into the Heart Project NFTs? Now, that's a great question and I cannot answer it for you because I'm not here to give you financial advice. I'm just here to present you with the information. But if I was to get into the Heart NFT project, my strategy would be to go in and mint four or five of these NFTs for that 0.088 price. Now you do have to be aware that there's potential to be some gas wars. So ultimately I will be hoping to get them around 0.2 ETH each with gas fees and everything involved. That strategy would cost me about one Ethereum and I could probably get about five of these hearts with that. And then you have to decide on your exit strategy as well. Are you gonna hold these for the long term, or are you just gonna try and make a quick flip once that price goes up on OpenSea? One of my favorite strategies, which I've talked about in my recent video about how to own NFTs for $0 is actually to get a couple of these NFTs and then once the price has gone up enough sell off a couple so that way you recoup your capital and then you have zero dollars invested but you still hold a couple of these NFTs and then hold those for the long term. Comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out this video right here.